have people ever described you as mysterious as an INFP? In this video, we're going to talk about why. INFPs, the introverted, intuitive, feeling, and perceiving types, are dominated by the function known as introverted feeling. Carl Jung said that when feelings are kept inside, they increase in intensity, and in many ways, the INFP's inner world is incredibly colorful. INFPs are often very dreamy, and often their inner world is experienced in high definition as if it was a high <laughs> profile uh, Hollywood production movie. And so, in many ways, INFPs have and experience all their experiences internally and feel all their emotions often internally. Even though on the outside they seem as if they are completely normal people. So many INFPs like the idea of having a secret identity and many INFPs are attracted to the idea of, you know, um, being that normal Clark Kent guy with glasses, but actually being a proper superhero. So why are INFPs drawn to this? Well, first of all, let's talk about their psychology. Introverted feeling types are known for being a bit easily overwhelmed. So it's not that INFPs don't want to talk about their feelings or don't want to open up to the world. The truth is INFPs very well can open up to the right people if they trust another person enough and if they like another person enough. The thing is INFPs don't always feel that, not with every single person they meet. There needs to be some kind of connection to bring them and to make them feel like they are connected to other people. Many INFPs feel as if they are the only people in the universe. Everyone else, nobody else understands them. Nobody else thinks the way they do. Nobody else feels the way they do. And when many INFPs open up, they feel as if nobody understands them. Many INFPs have strange or unusual ways of experiencing emotion and unusual dreams and experiences. And sometimes when INFPs open up and talk about their imagination or their feelings or their thought process, other people don't get it. And so many INFPs feel a bit alone in this. But many INFPs also get the chance to meet other people who happen to experience things similarly or happen to understand and expect, accept them for who they are. And with these kind of people, INFPs can really blossom up and open up and really show and reveal their true colorful self to the world. Many INFPs are known as artists, but being an INFP doesn't make you an artist by default. The, thing, the way INFPs experience being an artist is because they have a colorful world. And so they have the prerequisites to be artists if they're able to communicate what they are feeling to the other world. But many INFPs don't manage to do that because they might experience resistance or struggles with their inferior function, extroverted thinking. INFPs need to translate their experiences to the outer world and to turn it into actions, to lifestyle, to work. So as an INFP, you should always be thinking about how you can express what you're really feeling in your actions, in your lifestyle, at your work or in your relationships. So beyond that, as an INFP, INFPs really do want to open up and really do want to find people who they connect with. And the thing is, when INFPs do, it can sometimes be a bit overwhelming. Even if the other person is understanding, even if the other person is accepting, INFPs can feel very sensitive and can feel very naked when they talk about their innermost feelings. While other people might talk about their personal experiences as if it's, you know, just everyday things, for an INFP, these experiences hold deep significance and meaning. So INFPs are very careful for how they are perceived when they open up. Because of this, many INFPs will kind of switch between being very open with people and becoming suddenly very private. Sometimes INFPs will want and experience a need to go out and reveal themselves to the world. And sometimes INFPs will feel a bit overwhelmed. And so when they're a bit overwhelmed, they'll withdraw to their own shell. In many ways, INFPs are and relate to having that experience of going into cocoon mode. So they kind of place themselves in a cocoon, in a comfortable environment. And often the most comfortable place is their home, their favorite Netflix TV show, or something you know that is simple and easy. Relationships can be complicated and difficult. And so 
INFPs really need to learn how they can be themselves in their outer world and how they can be comfortable around other people. So as an INFP, it's very important that you allow yourself to be yourself around other people. While you might feel a bit awkward around other people, sometimes the key is to embrace your awkwardness and embrace your shyness. You shouldn't need to feel the pressure to talk or to be super outgoing around other people. Um, you should find people that are okay with you being sometimes a bit quiet or being sometimes in your own head. If you constantly feel like you're forced to be super outgoing or super open with other people, that can lead to a need to constantly jump back and forth from social interaction to avoidance and withdrawal. But if you're allowing yourself to be yourself around other people, well, you can find people who you can have fun with in a relaxed and easygoing manner. Many INFPs like the idea of parallel play, which is to meet up with somebody and to be able to do something easygoing and relaxing together. Not all the time do we have to always share everything that's on our mind and it's okay to keep secrets and it's okay to have your air of mystery to be a bit mysterious as an INFP. That's only part of your charm and many people enjoy the fact that you are who you are and find you special and find you like a really cool person. So don't be or feel too much pressure to open up or to open up immediately or and don't force it just let it happen naturally share who you are and find ways to communicate who you are but take your time and don't stress are you an infp and have you been called mysterious feel free to let me know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video